So here we have a repressible operon. The case we're going to the example we're going to use is tryptophan. So bacteria have a series of genes that when they're transcribed by RNA polymerase will form um, RNA and the RNA will be turned into a couple different enzymes. Those enzymes will work together to make tryptophan. However, if a bacteria all of a sudden has access to tryptophan or has enough tryptophan in its, in its little tiny cell body, <laughs> then we don't need to make it anymore. So if that's the case, if there's tryptophan present, we have a repressor that's going to attach to the operator and say, hey, stop making tryptophan. Let's block these genes. Um, however, with this case, with this repressor, you have to have tryptophan attached to it. So, um, for example, let's go ahead and take a look here. So here we have our messenger, our, our repressor protein, but as you can see, the repressor in this shape will not fit in this operator. So, what happens is, here we have some tryptophan, and when the amino acid tryptophan is present, it actually will attach to the repressor protein and cause the repressor to change shape. Now that repressor protein can fit nice and snug into the operator and now RNA polymerase is blocked and there's no gene expression. This operon is repressed or turned off.